What's up folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to our channel, Acura Honda Classic. We got something interesting today. Painting your car for under $50. What do we have, Brian? A oh, nice catch there, Mike. What you got there is our primer. This is Dupa Colors Perfect Match. And today we're gonna to be testing it out. Now the owner is actually looking just to get some color on these fenders to match the rest of the car. Wants to save a lot of money. It isn't too crazy about the final product, just as long as it matches. And perfect match says it's gonna be a perfect match. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, if you hold that, we're also gonna be using a clear coat. Now this clear coat come, is the same clear coat that will come out of a paint gun. It's two part, which we'll be discussing in the video as well. So we should get a high gloss finish. So with all these materials, I mean, you can find all of these materials at the hardware store, AutoZone, or even online and uh, you don't need any fancy compressor or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started on this project. Yeah, I really wanna see it. Yeah. All right, so in, in the next few steps, what we're gonna see is um, we're gonna go ahead and clean up this whole entire fender. Now, these are steps you can do at home. All the basics right in your garage. Make sure you clean up your garage first. You can use the greaser, you can use a uh, rubbing alcohol. This is a solvent-based uh, wax and grease remover. Gets off all the contaminants. Now the next thing he'll do is he needs to scuff that surface up because in order for our primer to stick, we need to have a surface that is scuffed up with a maroon scuff pad. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to tape up the surface, make sure that we don't have any scuffing past the area that we want on the panel and make sure we don't get any overspray once we go to paint on the hood or the door. Okay, so now that it's been cleaned off, taped off, uh, Drew's using a maroon scuff pad, and that's just gonna kinda go over the surface and tarnish it a little bit, and that's gonna give the uh, primer something to bite into so the paint doesn't peel. Car's all taped up, I think it's all ready to go. Yep. Do we have to bring the car into the booth? No, you know, my original plans was to do it outside here in this area, but you know, just by looking at those shots on the camera, you guys can't really see what we're doing and we have great lighting in the booth. I really want to show the audience what to do and I want them to see it. Right, right. Now for someone actually do it at home, what is your recommendation? Uh, maybe wet the floor with a hose to kind of keep uh, dust down. Get some maybe fans over by the opening of your garage. Get those fumes out of there. Wear your protection uh, so that those fumes aren't getting into your Let's get you started. All right. Okay, so we got the car in the booth. Now let's talk about plastic because you know you think it's such a simple thing, but if you use the wrong plastic, you get yourself into trouble. If you can spare, go ahead and get yourself some automotive-based plastic. This stuff is treated on one side. It'll actually say on one side, spray this side. And that way when the overspray hits it, it holds the overspray and it doesn't flake. But if you're just doing this job and maybe it's one job a year you do, you can go down to your local Walmart, Lowe's, whatever it might be, and get yourself some plastic. It can be 0.5 or one mil, it doesn't really matter. It will do the job. Now, what will happen though, is when you paint, after you put the primer and base, as that paint gets hit with air from the rattle can, that paint can actually flake up. But if you got your paper boy around, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna deliver you some newspaper that you can use now this newspaper that you can use is gonna be on the outer edge of your plastic and we'll show you that a little bit later to kind of keep that overspray from flaking right into your brand new paint job.
All right, so the next step, Drew is gonna go ahead and take some water-based cleaner, and you can use spray away glass cleaner, it's the same thing, and go ahead and just clean the whole panel off, and this is gonna remove any contaminants from or oils from your fingers. Great. So next, Drew is using a tack cloth, not pressing too hard, just wants to remove any lint that has fallen on the surface. Okay, so next up, we're gonna put a filler primer on there and we're gonna use Perfect Match by Dupacolor and this is going to go ahead into any fine sand scratch, fill it in and then we're gonna smooth it off with some 600 grit. Okay, so now we're gonna use that filler primer. Make sure we're having about 75% overlap. And when we spray, let's not stop right in the middle. Let's do the whole length of the actual fender. That's gonna keep it nice and wet and nice and smooth. That's a very important tip. All right, so we got the second coat about to go down and I think it's gonna cover really well, so we're gonna leave it at two coats for the primer. Now before we spray base, remember how I told you earlier how that plastic can kind of flake off when new paint comes on it and the pressure and the air from your new paint can just really lift up that old paint right into your fresh paint? Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and just cover it with newspaper around all of our edges. That way this paper is gonna hold the overspray a lot better. Guys, we put newspaper on the plastic and Ryan about to spray base coat on it right now. Okay, so we're gonna do our third and then our fourth coat all in one step. Now, originally what we did is we did long strokes. Now, it's very hard to keep it nice and even with long strokes, so on this third and fourth actual setting, we're going to go ahead and do parts. So we're gonna do one part, two part, three, and four, and we're gonna move really, really quick to keep it nice and wet. Now, it really helps to do this in cooler hours of the day. That way that paint doesn't dry so quick. If it's going on wet, it's gonna be smoother and it's gonna look smoother. Dry spots in on your fender are gonna be streaks, okay? So let's watch how we do it. All right, so we're down to clear coat, and man, so so far, so good. Now, we got this Eastwood product, 2K. They make a 2K product in different um, companies. I'm gonna give this one a try. The reason why I like this, 2K, what that means is you got your hardener, and you got your clear coat. Regular paint, you got your hardener, and you got your clear coat. 
So in here, how it works is the top comes off, it goes underneath, and then all you're gonna do is pop it against the surface of something hard, and that's gonna release the hardener into the rest of the can, and from here, it's kind of like a ticking time bomb. Now, some people say you get two or three days, but if you keep it in the cabinet, you can get up to about seven days. But most likely, we're gonna use this whole can on the actual car. Well, Brian is uh, all suited up, getting ready to put some clear coats on. <laughs> this is really exciting because you never know what to expect. So we're gonna go roll with it and uh, see how good this 2K gloss is. Really good, man. Man, was not expecting that high quality finish from a spray can. I mean, for a paint job that costs less than $50. Yep, yep, definitely. You know, it has its place. You're not gonna spray a whole car with it, but you know, an older car that you wanna make it look good, why not? Well, as always, we wanna thank you guys for watching our channel. Yeah, and thank you for helping us rebuild our community. And hey, stay tuned to the end, because we're about to show you what's in that booth. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you then.